Okay guys, I'm going to be showing you how to do your um, solar dyeing scarf. So again, forgive my voice, it has been a rough week with allergies, so it's a little crazy. Alright, so you've got your dye here, your foam brush, and then I've got the silk soaking in water right now. So you're going to want to soak that for about, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe? So maybe while you're gathering all your supplies, and just make sure it's really getting soaked in there. Okay. We got a towel off to the side to dry my hands. All right, so I um, used a piece of plastic on the table from a shipment, just recycled plastic. Now, um, this plastic you can also use again for um, when you're doing the wet belting project because you're gonna wanna protect your surfaces. Okay, so with this project, I sent you some pressed leaves. Now, you sh you're gonna have a, a couple in there started. So here's some ideas of some of the leaves that might be in your package. Now, I suggest that you go around the yard with your child, children, however many you have, and gather up some leaves. So I gathered up, there's um, some violet, some tree leaves there, maple, I think. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments, but you know. And then this is some tree, maybe a basswood? I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, so these are just from my yard. Um, I went around and gathered up some leaves, and um, since the tree leaves are pretty flat, I didn't bother. The um, violet leaves, because of how they're heart-shaped, I did um, compress them a little bit beforehand. Okay, so um, it just really depends on what's in your yard to what you got going on. Okay, so I'm going to take this silk out of the water. I'm going to wring out some of that water before I stretch it out here. Okay. I need to move my stuff. I forgot how big this scarf is. Move my leaves. Okay, guys. I'm filming this outside, so it's gonna be noisy. I apologize. I'm sure that when you're doing this craft, you will be outside as well. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera there. Okay. So you're gonna wanna stretch that out to the best of your ability in the space that you have. The next thing you're gonna be doing is painting this with your dye. Open that up. It's a lift and peel situation here. Man, it's on there good, guys. There we go. All right, now be careful because it's it's liquid. So I'm just gonna tip that in there, and then I'm just gonna start dropping it on here. Okay. And you can even, you know, go like that. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Okay, so you're just gonna wanna, just gonna wanna drip that that dye all over the place. Okay, and then you can start painting it across the thing here. Now, if you've got a sibling pack, you have got more than one color dye, and if you wanted to, you guys could put both colors on the silk. If you've got a single pack, you've got the one color. Most people have turquoise, but you might wind up a cerulean. i got different colors for fun. I need to move this on over here. All right, so just so you know, the reason why you've got that plastic sheeting is because that paint goes right on through. I don't know if you can see that, but it goes right on through. So you really need to have that plastic sheeting. 
You can even, if you've already done your um, wet felting project, you could even um, use the um, back of the bubble wrap, you know, bubble side down. So I'm just gonna keep painting this, making sure I'm on my plastic sheeting. I might be off camera, sorry. I'm just painting, just painting away. Now you don't have to, so if you can see, like, see some of it, um, it's not all completely covered and I might put more blue in other areas. Just I want to give it that marbled effect, you know, kind of a little tie dye ish It's not that serious, so, you know, just have fun with it. You can see I'm just kind of flicking the brush around too and letting it like do its thing. All right, again, if I'm off camera, it's because I'm painting. I didn't run away. Okay. I might have got dye on my table a little bit. Okay. So, I think I'm just going to add a little bit more here and there. And then we're going to start putting those leaves down. Okay. Really hoping it does not rain. It looks like it's about to. Okay, let me get some on camera here. Oops. Okay. So I'm just pushing that down. On there, just pushing it down. Some of the cool ferns. Oh lordy, better not rain. All right, I'm adding more leaves all over the silk. Just pressing those down, trying to get the wrinkles out. Of course, if it's wrinkled, I'm sure it'll look cool on the thing, right? Let's see. Fun little botanical print that we're gonna get. So I've got a bunch of leaves on here now, and my hands are covered in dye. You know how that goes. Okay, so now we're gonna let the sun just do its magic, guys. And hopefully my sun doesn't go away permanently. <laughs> it doesn't rain buckets. All right, and then you guys have plenty of dye left over too that you can do this with other material and test out and see, like maybe you can do it with some cotton t-shirts stuff like that and see how it turns out um, all right and then of course the uh, the finished picture will be in the zine all right guys have fun